Hello and welcome. Today we're checking out Objects in Space, the full release version of Objects in Space. We played this one several months ago, back in the early days. Uh, the game's all about being a ship captain, starship captain, rather than being your typical space kind of game. Though it has more of a more of a submarine style feel to it. This is not Star Trek space. This is Expanse space, uh, where we're going to be bouncing around in our ship, trying to, you know, do everything we can to piece things together to keep the thing operational. Checking out screens. And doing whatever we want to do, we can transport, we can we can fight, we can bounty hunt, we can uh, pirate. All kinds of options here. Let's try it out and see what is new here. Uh, there are some scenarios. There's more of them now that have been added in. Uh, let's look at the story mode though. I'm going to go here, and we'll do. We have advanced options if we want to turn off like the tutorial or whatever. I'm going to leave it on, uh, just to sort of get a, a nice start here. Okay, so here we are. We've got you. Hello, how are you? Looks like you zoned out there for a second. Uh, compadre, you uh, with us or what? Cassandra ain't gonna check itself off for the last jump. You ready to head out? Yeah, let's do it. That's the spirit. Press undocking permission from the monitor and then jump through the airlock. Keep communications open so we can chat on the outside. See you out there. Okay, so yeah, it's a, you can tell by the look. It's a very 90s kind of feel. Permission to request. Uh, required to undock your uh, utility shuttle, which is what I have from the Cassandra. Permission, please. Granted. Excellent. Let's go to the bay. Let's make sure we shut the airlock. And let's go and, and do this. We got monitors we can take a look here. Um, can we look around the ship, I suppose? Let's go look around the ship. This way. Ready to undock? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So we keep an eye on all of our monitors here, make sure we're doing the right things. We're preparing to launch. Yes. What do you want? Wendy, it's you again. What do you want? Hey there, Wendy here. Switching to uh, professional mode. Let's uh, make it happen, same as always. Rotate your ship to 50 degrees on your helm screen. All right, 50 degrees. Uh, we want to go 50 degrees. Uh, right there. Okay. Now watch. Okay, we're in sync. And burn main engines for a second or two. Gotcha. Let's burn. Yes. All right, we're moving. Let's get out there and make sure Cass, uh, make sure Cass is in good shape before heading back. Stop the burn. Already did it. Professional mode of activating. Uh, listen back what I was saying about poker. I get giddy sometimes just thinking about this trip. So freaking cool, am I right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a trip. The first any human beings have ever been from Earth. Harboring some 750,000 people back on the Cassandra, and it's up to us. Just us to help get there safely to the Apollo cluster. So we're transporting um, civilians to this new uh, system in the galaxy. Forget Earth and all the haters. This journey is the single greatest thing humanity has ever done since inventing fire. You ever wonder what's uh, what's waiting for us out there? Uh, I guess it could be anything. Yeah, it could be. But we've got just one more jump until we're there. Exciting. And I know the plants with potential life don't mean there's actually is any. But even if, that, if there is one in a billion chance, still excites me. Even if there's nothing there, at least we'll know there'll be planets rich in gases and minerals we need to thrive. It's more exciting than being the first humans to colonize an entirely new star cluster? Forget Mars. Forget Neptune. What about Neptune? What's wrong with Neptune? Yeah, and it's, and it's truck stop space stations. This place is entirely on us, you know? It's what we make it. Yeah, it's exciting. Exactly. We'll be the best versions of humanity we can possibly be. And you know what? Screw whatever we considered humanity back on Earth. That was ten years ago now. Here's the thing. We made a choice. You and me. We're one of the only a handful of people who made the choice to leave all that behind and seek a new life among the stars, you know. Yep. Once in a lifetime trip. Okay. Let's come to a stop here. Head to your new nav map and hit full stop. Alright. Full stop. Uh, nav map is over here. Uh, full stop. Okay. At full stop. Good work. So look, I've been thinking about this, and the way I see it, choice is loss. Everyone speaks about it like it's opportunity, and it is, but it's also a loss. Loss of every job offer you ever pursued, every crush you ever, ever kissed. I don't know, every time you choose chocolate over vanilla. Better get used to it, what's what I'm saying. So this is kind of a tutorial, kind of intro, kind of showing what's going on in the game. As soon as we get out there, 
then it sort of opens up and we do whatever we want. We'll see here in a minute. But this will ease us into the game. It's a little weird looking and weird feeling, so this will take it easy on us. Uh, I bet uh, if you'd ever chosen Earth, you'd probably be sitting in Johannesburg or some such place wondering about why you missed out here on the emptiness. Like I say, choice is loss. Yeah, that's true. Sandra status is in, in nominal. We can start moving back in. Dropping a beacon on your way on your nav map for the rendezvous now. Head to your nav map, plot a, cor uh, plot a course, and press engage. So we're going to plot a course um, here. Oops. And uh, engage. Um, did I do it wrong? Oh, it wants me to go here. Right there. Plot a course. Engage. Okay, course laid in. I'm glad you're excited too. Yep, super, super excited. You know what? We're nearly there. Almost at Apollo, and then we get to do something no other human's ever done before. I reckon Apollo will be okay. I'm not really asking here. Apollo is the other system we're going to. Uh, depends on the people, I suppose. We're the ones who get to, decide, get to decide. Whatever humanity looks like, we're one of the few who can actually shape it. Joke for you. Uh, how many Earthlings does it take to change the light bulb? I don't know. Who cares? We're Apollyan. Apollyan. Polonians now? Expanding the reach of humankind. Yes, yes. She's so excited. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm excited myself. Build a side of Earthgate. Yeah, yeah. We're not just trailblazers. We're not just pioneers. We're one of a kind, baby. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Ultimate bridge. Earthgate will bring about transcluster travel. I don't know. It's just a blip on my scanners. I'm sure everything uh, looks normal now. Going ahead is planned. If it's serious, one of the crew will send instructions. I'm not worried. Okay, if you're not worried, I'm not worried either. I'm sure nothing nothing bad will happen. I'm being told that you need to reposition slightly. I'm not sure why I've dropped another beacon on your nav map. Prepare a course. Okay. Yes. This is the Apollo Cassandra. Yes. Okay, people, this is the Cassandra. Actual. All ships have reported in. We're ready to, for the final jump into Apollo. Let's do it. Check your Cassandra status screens and select jump ready. All right, jump ready. Here we go. Yes. Reboot the system. We are, we're not home anymore. That's for sure. Let's go, uh, let's go, whoops, wrong one. Let's go say hello to this one. No? Oh, we got a hail coming in. Yes, Leslie. Hey there, what's going on? You all right in there? Uh, yeah, who are you? I'm Les, just running my local route through these, uh, here parts, and suddenly you appeared on my radar, and I'm like, heck, this ain't a normal jump location. So I figured I'd better see what's up. I mean, you okay? You seem to be. It's been an uncontrollable-like. Uh, you are, yes. You're gonna keep on spinning, and your ship's gonna keep on shaking like that till we fix it up. Uh, you're a pilot, right? Yeah. Well, um, I happen to be handy with an engine, so how's about I walk through and see if we can get you back on your feet? Listen, it's your helm was shot. Unless you get back to your engineering section and take a look at it, you're gonna be spinning like that forever. Hey, the engineering. You're gonna open up your helm system and drag out the dead component and switch it with a working one. Okay. So, engineering model, uh, monitor, busted helm. Disconnect your helm, open it up, unscrew all the screws, press the big green button. Okay, got it. Which was uh, over here. That one. So turn it off, disconnect it, uh, open it. There we go, we got, this is busted. Yeah, take, uh, we gotta unscrew it. Okay, pop that thing open. You, get out, you go in. All right, close. Oh, we got we got close back up. Hang on, we got to do the uh, put stuff back together. Okay, connect. All's good. All right. Yep, got it. That broken part's uh, gone. You'll want to drag in a working one. Got it. Put the button down at the bottom says screw. Yep, yep, got it. Right, press the RCS button back on the helm and your bridge. You'll stop her from spinning. RCS, right here. Um, that one. Okay. Got it. 
What are you doing here all of a sudden? Um, where is here? Well, you're in the Leo system, not too far from out the uh, the Lego gas mines. Ring a bell? Uh, where's the Cassandra? Cassandra, are you high? Uh, what's wrong with the question? Where is she? Something happened? Oh, I see what's happening here. You're a newcomer. Uh, what's a newcomer? Since we all got here in Apollo, we've had occasional support ships from the Cassandra mission popping in way later than the rest of the convoy. On the final jump, they got caught in some kind of space-time rift, or some such bizarre thing. They end up getting here alright, but way later than they should. That's what happened to me, I reckon. So, uh, welcome to, the, to Apollo. So there's not much ceremony. How late am I? Uh, well, yes, yeah, so this part the other folks said in the papers they found the hardest, so you might want to sit down or something. Just prepare yourself. Coming up on 45 years since the first planet fall on Langra Lagrange. What? Now listen, let me guide you back to port. I'm reasonably sure someone there who can set you up with, uh, like a support group or some such thing. Support group for new f uh, newcomer folks like yourself. Folks who've lost folks, you know? Oh yeah, I mean, it's been 45 years. I hate to break it to you, but a lot of your old friends are likely dead. I mean, me? I got fully grown kids of my own, and I was born here. Uh, what do I do now? I recall the AEA passed a law a while back which let newcomers keep the vessel they arrived in. A short-range shuttle, like yours, may not be much, but you can get a decent load of cash for it, a historical value, and easily set yourself up as a freelance captain out there. Let me take you back to the nearest port. I can point you in the right direction and get you started. Okay. So go in your nav map there, and you should see an icon not too far off, which is listed as Lego Bath Gas Port. Why don't you click on that, then press Plot Course and Engage. Okay? Right here. Right there. Plot course. Engage. Okay, en route. There's a few things you should know. I've heard that the people who come here on the Central were expecting better than we got. Yes? Well, plenty of places to start up colonies and such, but not a one of them's got breathable air. Folks can walk around outside in some places, but only with breathing apparatus and only for a short stints. So it's not to get you poisoned, you follow? Uh, not what we're hoping for, but plenty of colonies sound promising. Sure, plenty of colonies and space stations, uh, for most of them. Rapid transport from star system to star system. It's not half bad. We find any other life forms out here? Oh, microbe like type things, yes, but nothing so large I'd comfortably call it an animal as such. Nope, no aliens. Probably, uh, much more to talk about, which you might, which might shock you, but let's leave it until you're on solid ground. Let's talk back at the library. Should take more than a minute or two to get you there, alright? Sign off. Okay, so we are, uh, we're heading on in, we'll, we'll cruise on into the new gat, the new station, and have a chat here with our buddy. Alright, pull it in now. Alright, oh, welcome to, uh, station. Docking clamps, connecting the shore power, life support check. Welcome to Lago Port. Uh, yeah, so let's open the doors, I guess. And head on in there. Hey, Leslie. Welcome to Apollo, partner. Uh, I'm Leslie Spook, and you uh, spinning around aimlessly in space just now. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Excited to, uh, to meet you, newcomer. Uh, listen, I was thinking on the way over here, you're probably pretty dang lost right about now. No friends, no family, and so forth. What I mean to say is, I want to help get you oriented, like, get you set up. Understand? Sure. First things first, your ship. Yeah? So it's probably got some sentimental value to you and all, but uh, that old Remora shuttle you came in here in, well, it ain't space legal. Like that old bird is 50 years out of date, so no way you can legally fly her these days. You need to get a ship yourself before you can, they'll let you undock. Okay? Take a look around Lago. There's different monitors around that we can buy a ship from. Talk to a ship broker. Shuttle may not be legal, uh, but historical value is good. Okay, thanks. Get yourself a new ship. Come talk to me. I'll do that. Who are you? Uh, you are Leon Clark. Yeah, hi, I'm a pilot from Cassandra. I just docked. And right in saying people have been in Apollo for 50 years? Oh, wow. That must be a little strange for you. So, yeah, uh, year is 44A. We measure calendars by the number of years we've been in Apollo. October 3rd. Tuesday. Yes? Hi. Welcome to the Apollo cluster. This is heavy. It can be a bit much, but don't worry. Uh, there's a law which passed keeping your ship tends to be newcomers. Can keep see newcomers set up and able to earn their living well enough. But it makes Leo go around, and there's no better way to be a part of it than to be in between companies. They like they need freelancers, folks like yourself who can make things happen. Lago here, this uh, boring truck stop station. She isn't much, but Leo 
itself is the central hub of the whole cluster. Fly around a bit. You'll see. Anytime. Welcome to the to Apollo. So all your, all your friends are dead. Okay, so we got stations around here we can take a look at. We got, well, there's nothing there. But we've got, uh, like this, we can buy these different parts here. We can come over here and maybe buy ourselves a station or a ship. We gotta find that over here, I think. Ship broker. Yeah, well, so we gotta sell ours. Did they do it already? Can I buy, like, one of these? How much money do I have? Oh, I already bought one. Okay, I bought one. <laughs> well, we'll take that one then. Uh, we have different parts and things we can throw on our ship as well. Armaments. Uh, which we don't have anything on that ship right now. Um, what's up here? Oh, things we can trade. Who are you? Uh, what can I do for you? You can study these here terminals? Whoops. I'm in charge of... No, not really. I'm just near them. You're meant to just use them yourself. But I'm guessing you haven't used them before since you're asking. So I might as well show you what. what. The terminals for buying, selling ship components. Gotcha. I understand. I'm a fast learner. So buying some components, yes. The other one is for uh, also buying some cargo pods, upgrade cargo pods, allow them to carry goods. Okay, for carrying like a like a cooling system. Thank you. You're welcome. Very busy. Sure you are. Can I go back this way? Who are you? Can I talk to you? Nope. You guys just sitting around. Okay. Well, we got a ship. Let's go talk to uh, our buddy. Hey, friend. Sort out. I did. I, I surely did. Bought a Ceres class light freighter. Why? Nice going. We'll get you set up soon, and you can take her out for a spin. What else would I do? What well, you can do in Apollo, you can salvage, bounty hunt, and the like, but I reckon hauling cargo is your best way to get started. It's the backbone for all of us freelance ship captain types out there. Me, I work for United Leon Space Enterprises. They're a heavy manufacturing company operates in these parts. Hauls large-scale construction materials. So I'm going to do you a favor and put in a good word from a boss and get you set up as a freelancer for him. Jobs don't just grow out trees out here. You might not see these monitors for buying and selling goods, and the one with contracts on it. Those are your main ports of call. Okay. Go over there, find uh, the contracts, buttons, and pick one. Come back and see me when you got one. Gotcha. So over here, we can get a contract. Uh, we can get oxygen to prefect outpost. This one is to FIL station. I'm not sure why it's purple or Crassus Harbor. What do you want? You want hydrogen? You want oxygen? How much? 24, 123, 1. Mm. Do I have enough space for that? Let's do this one. It's purple. I don't know why, but we'll go to FIL station. Sure. I'll take it. I need. How much? 22 things of helium 3. Okay. So let's go pick up some stuff. We have bounties here as well. That guy. A lot of money. Uh, I need some helium 3, right? That's it. It's already in my. In my uh, Oh, it's already have it? Okay, good. We can also buy other stuff if we want to buy it here. Price here is below market value. Purchase is recommended. I'll buy three of them. Okay. Let's sell a little more. So let's go. Oh, you again? No. Hey, okay. yeah, I'm back. You got a contract? I do. I surely did. I'll be hauling some gas. Great. I suggest you jot down the details in the notes section of that PDA you're holding there. He's full of spot. Gotcha. One thing I forgot to mention, something you may not know. You uh, know that big plan y'all had to build a transclustral jump gate back to Earth? What happened? I never finished it. Delay after delay, the whole lack of resources in Apollo thing, then after a while, a bunch of folks started thinking we were better off without having rule Earth rule over us. The government we set up, the Apollo Earth Authority, well, that was just only ever meant to be temporary-like. So she just kind of collapsed once, no uh, once enough people felt like they were doing just fine. So there's seven other major states out there. You're inside the Leon Empire here. Because that's what the people wanted. It's what most people wanted, but not everyone. There have been, uh, well, a couple of wars since then. Power struggles between states and the like. What's the purpose of the Cassandra? Well, not a I mean, half of it was Earthgate ain't a thing, and we're alone out here. The other half, we sure as heck uh, uh, colonized Apollo like we were supposed to. We'll see when you get out there. Ships and space stations everywhere. Okay. Hit you with the one last piece of advice, yes? You got your comms room on your new ship. Go right there and type mail. Gotcha. Get some messages. Type reply so as I know. Okay. Alright. Let's go. We got some hydrogen. Let's go haul some gas. Let's shut the airlock up. I got a suit. Space suit I can hop in. Cool. 
I have it looks like a quarters back here. I got some coffee. I can't do anything here. Take a look at what's Gorch Fock. Is that the name of my ship? Is that the name of my ship? We can do better than that. Apparently I'm a Spider-Man fan. Okay, let's go back this way. Um sure, auto sync. Whatever. Uh mail, yeah, he wants to type in mail. So mail. We have yeah, Leslie. So Okay. I'm all settled in here. Mail for mail, news for news, makes sense to me. Yep. Did I send it? Uh, send. Alright. Leave here. We can also type in news if we want to see some things here. Public works. General pirate warning. Pirate warning has been included by Leon Aerospace today following the incident in quadrant D of the Leo system. Alright. So, okay, now we're back at our main system. Our ship is much bigger now. Here's our main system. So, um... The thing I remember about this game that was most exciting, we're, we're on our own now, tutorial's off, is, um, is like the combat. It's very, very, very submarine style. We gotta find our station here. I don't remember how to do it. Uh, let's see. Cluster. There we go. We gotta go to, I don't know where we're going. You can probably see it in here. Let's see, we wanna go to... PDA is tab, yeah. That's what I want. So we got this one to FIL station in Maru. Okay, so where's Maru? There it is, right there. So we're gonna head there. Before we take off, we have to go in over here and request permission to undock. Pop back out here and go here and... Oh, we had fees. Okay, pay the fees. Request permission. Please let me leave. Thank you. Let's go head out here. Shut those doors again. I think we're good to go. We do have a little window here if we want to look outside. And we should be up and running. Ready to undock? Yeah, go ahead and do it. Moving clamps. Attaching from shore power. With power meters over here, this is what we're generating. This is what we have in storage. Coming very handy later on. Um, okay, so we got to go to... We have to plot a course. We went ahead to Maru, the Maru system, which is over here at the... Uh, here's the whole cluster. To get to Maru, we have to go... Head over to a Maru jump gate, which is over this way. There we go. Just go ahead and plot a course and engage. Okay, autopilot's taking us away. Uh, we can speed up time here. 4x time. We should get there in, uh, well, no time, I guess. Some of time. There's things all out here. We can see there's different ships out bouncing around. They have, we can scan them if we want. We, this up here is our, is our nerd uh, scanner. We can keep an eye on these, these numbers, these uh, sensors. It'll tell us what's going on out here. We may see a ship, and we may, we'll get readings, like questionable readings. And then we'll have to look at this to determine what they are. If there's a reactor, we can see if there's a reactor going on, or some sort of uh, jump drive, I guess is what that is. Weapon systems, if they are, if they are powering up, there may be pirates out here as well. Let's, there's the autumn. Some ship out this way. It's a series ship. Uh, we have our our um, transponder running right now, so people can know who we are. We can turn that off though. If we want to go dark, we can do that as well. Uh, if we have, if we're scared of somebody heading our way, there's a reactor on and off. Of course, that's on. We have MCON mode over there. If we need to go silent, um, we have. That's pretty much all we can do. I think in there. Open the window up. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's just uh, make our way over here to the jump gate. We're being hailed. Yes. Juan Garcia. Yes? What do you want? Looks like we got here first, Skipper. Looks like we got here first, Skipper. What are you talking about? Let's see your wreckage. We got here first and we already used our scrap on our to pick her pick clean. Ain't nothing left here but scrap. It's an old merchant vessel and, or some such. Had a bunch of computers and a cargo pod just sitting here. Free for the Taken. We're gonna head back to Columbus Central, Taken and sell it off. Net us a tiny sum. Good for you. What did I just say? You've got a grappling arm. You can take our leftovers you see fit. Ain't nothing left but the scrap, though. What did I just say? Lower drop cargo or die? <coughs> Torpedo? Wait, what? What? Hang on, hang on. Uh. Where? Why is our torpedo coming our way? 
Um, we need to divert course. Go up. Uh, hang on. Cancel all the pilots. Go this way. Get away from that guy. Um, reactor on. I don't have any weapons on this ship. I can't fire at the guy. Can we just hail the guy? I mean, no communications channel. No comms. Oh, I probably shut him off. How do we get Asteroids? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll go this way. Can we, like, you, hail? Is it, who is it? Who are you? I don't know who you are. Ouch. Uh, this guy right here? You, no? How about outposts? Hey, we're being attacked. No, no, I don't, no, being attacked. Torpedo is going way wide. He's still, like, right there, though. You know what? Um, let's crank it back on. Let's hit this jump gate. A lot of course over there. I, if he's, I guess he's not firing at me. It's an, inact an inactive torpedo. Alright. I'm a little bit dang banged up there. My, my wing's been hit. Asteroids. Or what? It's a problem. Not the, not the uh, person attacking us. Activate that frequency. See if he comes back and tries shooting at us again. Let's crank it up. I think we're good. Emails? Yes? What do we have here? Urgent transport job, eh? Urgent need of passage from Pentland Commercial to Columbus Central. Pay 750 credits for the job. That's more than I'm getting right now. There's no more shooting at me, you understand? Alright, docking with the jump gates. Let's go ahead and get out of here. This is not a safe system, I've decided. So the combat, I've mentioned this a few times, is very fun. Uh, I did, a, I'll put a link to the video to where I just played one of the scenarios, a combat scenario. And it has that, has that Star Trek... Six, that when they go into the nebula, um, combat feeling to it. Yeah, pay a fee. Are we good to go? And jump. I assume everything's okay. Yeah, ship's still in one piece. Good, we made it. Reboot all our systems here. loud in the engine room. Any mail over here? Nothing new. Uh, how about, uh, are we looking? Okay, so we have to go to, what system are we going, or what planet? FIL station. We are spinning. Let's go ahead and stop spinning. Okay. So we need to go to, there it is. Okay, plot a course there, and engage. Ah, not again! One thing I forgot about last time is, who's the pirate? Who's, who's, oh, it's a torpedo, again, another one! I forgot this last time, it's very important to do, let's burn! Let's get out! We're going to the station, we're going to dock at the station before the torpedo hits us, hopefully. We don't have so much power, so we can't burn forever. But this will at least get us some distance between us and that torpedo wheel. I guess it automatically turns off our transponder. So coming straight at us, though. Why are there so many angry people out here? I just want to be friends. Okay. Yeah, I understand. There's torpedo coming in. I hear it. Yeah, yeah. It's coming in quick. Dock, please, before it hits. Hey, active. On a dock at the station. Hail the station. Docking permission. I want to dock. Okay, okay. Are we there? Are we there? Oh, we passed it. Okay, torpedo is just going wide. We gotta spin this thing around. It went way wide. Let's 
spin this thing around will burn to get that station. I, I guess because my my uh, transponder was off, they refused to uh, take me in. Is that him right there? I don't know. I haven't seen any, any curious things. Occasionally you'll come across random things out in space. Question marks. We can scan them. I don't really see any of those. There's a reactor nearby, so we can see where this reactor we're looking at here. There he is again. Who's saying this? Keep that going. Just, uh, just dock at the station, please. There we go. Spin it around. Stop. Torpedo incoming. It's fine. We're docked at the station. No one's going to shoot us off the station. It's a dangerous world out there. Welcome to FIL Station. Alright. Undocking permission required. Um, yeah, I think I do that over here. Can I just, can I just walk in? Oh, if I want to leave, undocking permission. Yeah, so we're here we are. Um, so we got fees we have to pay. We'll do that in a minute. So here's a new station. Let's go and uh, see what we can find right here. Trading post. We can buy some stuff. We can also sell stuff. I want to sell these things. Where's my contract here? Is it um, this one? Deliver. There we go. We got money now. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and deliver these. Is this price here is below? Not, don't sell it there. Okay. I won't then. But we can buy new things if we want. What else do we have over here? Here we go. Mechanic services. Yeah, yeah. I kind of need that. Can you repair me? Repair my port wing, please. 175. Oh, I'm rich. Primary hole. Repair that. I'm very rich. 24 grand. Can I buy? I could buy armaments. Oh, no. I can't. On here. Can I buy a new ship? Ship sales. Uh, no. I'm a little bit short on these. I can sell mine, maybe? Can I buy a Ceres Mark III? What do you do? Light freighter. Medium freighter. Freighter operating out of Diwali. Issues with one or two of the modules, but she flies true. Medium freighter. Okay, I don't want a freighter. What's on this way? We can't go there. Okay. Oh, this is all we have. This is just a boring trading port. There's no, no, uh, not even a, not even a bar. Hmm. Can't talk to you. I can't talk to anybody. This isn't a very exciting place. All right. Uh, well, we can look at where is the. What can I add on here? Generator, new batteries, new generators. Can I put in sensors, countermeasures? We nice to have weapons. Weapon system. Yes, please. Can I have two of them, please? And can I? Tube one. We want heavy torpedo? Sure. Okay. I don't need to buy anything. Pod 1, radiation shield. Pod 2, temperature shield. Those are my, my, um, those are my, uh, cargo pods. So if we, I can, I can haul things around that, uh, I can call it cooling things or whatever. So we have torpedoes now. We only have one module. Can I purchase an additional... No. Grappler, eh? Maybe countermeasures might be nice to have. Here we go. We got a passenger that wants to go to this sector. Sure, I'll take you in. Uh, and I got um, a contract here I saw going to Cox's Bazaar. That's pretty nearby. 100 bucks. Sure, I'll take that. And licenses? No, none of there. Okay, that's good. Good with that. Prepare to launch. Okay. Uh, IFF is on. And we want to go to Cox's Bazaar. Plot course. We have to weapon target. Is a thing we can set now? Let's head over that way. Curious, though. Like, let's say we... I have it set. Yeah, okay. 
We can we can fire weapons if we want. We will fire weapons. Who are you? You are Lander class freighter, a merchant. Lambda is an authority. There's the cops. We won't fire at him. We're going through a lack of power. Oh yeah, yeah, because we're burning here. Okay, but we can shut down our power and then we can sit still and, and just blast somebody. We'll find someone that we kill here. Firelight seems rather interested in me. Let's engage. So I'm going to uh, actually I'm just gonna come full stop. Right here by this planet. Look at this firelight guy. Let's uh, let's move like over here. Just scoot me over a little bit. Full stop. Set weapon target. Let's go ahead and hail this guy. Um, that we click on right here. Hail. Hailing. Hey, firelight. What's the good word? Drop your cargo or be fired upon. Oh, my FF. Oh, whoops. Sorry. <laughs> uh, full stop. Weapon target. On him. Spin him up. Can we spin ourselves around? I think I can... Yeah, we can spin ourselves around this way. And... Fire? We lack of power. I don't have power to spin up. There it goes. Torpedo away. Okay, now let's get out of here. There it goes. Oh, okay. Can't, can't go fast. Someone firing at me. My torpedo is... is nowhere near him. Where's that going? Oh, great. Spin it back around. Here it comes. How many torpedoes do I have? What are you? Authority. Oh, the authorities. Um, let's go dark. Go dark! Does torpedo come? Oh, there's a torpedo right there. Mine blew up right there. Ah! Out of power. Um, this is a problem. Um, burn. What do you mean low power? Burn already. This is going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Burn. Um, shut the lights off. Shut things off. We don't need. We don't need sensors. We don't need. We need a helm. What are you? Main drive, we need that. Communications, no, we don't need that. Now burn! Okay, I want you going over here. I know it's off. You seem to have just barely avoided it. Marco Tran. Did we miss it? I don't have any countermeasures, so I can't do much about this thing. You. Uh, clear. Okay, okay. We are, uh, looking kind of ugly. Torpedo is still out there. Right there. Heading our way. Is that ours? Out there? I guess, do I not have more weapons? Did my weapons go offline? Whoa! Uh, and the game crashed! <laughs> There's objects in space. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.